Okay, well, let's move right along to the next listener phone call. Hello, my name is Kev, listening from California and the Genesis Radio Network. I know that green stars do not exist because of the way our eyes work, but I have a theory. Plants are green because they absorb light from the sun. Since the sun does not produce green light, that means the plant leaves reflect green light and absorb the light that the sun does produce. This might explain why plants are green, or conversely, why stars are not green. What are your thoughts on this? Furthermore, nebulae can be green because plants do not rely on nebulae for photosynthesis. One last question I have is, why are there no green-furred mammals aside from the sloth? It will make sense because if they're hiding in vegetation, having green fur would be an advantage. Um, thank you for your time, and I hope to uh, read your next book when it comes out in late February. Well, you ask a whole bunch of questions, so let's try to break them down one at a time. Uh, first of all, some animals are green because of camouflage. Insects, for example. Many insects are green precisely because of that. But then the leaves change. The leaves change, and the metabolism and chemistry of insects is such that they can also change color to match the changing of the foliage. Now, mammals, unfortunately, do not have green. It's perhaps an accident of, of evolution because, of course, it is possible to change color of fur, but Mother Nature has given us fur that don't change color that much. And so then the question is, why green? Because that's the color of chlorophyll. Plants are green because they absorb light except mainly greens, which is then reflected out. So when you look at a green plant, you're looking at light which is not absorbed by the plant, and that's why green, which is not absorbed by the plant, goes into your eye. And then the question is, why don't we have green stars? Well, first of all, why do stars have color at all? Think about it for a moment. Think of a match. What is the color of the bottom of the flame and the top of the flame? That will give us the secret of why we don't have green stars, and I'll answer that after the break. Once again, you are listening to Science Fantastic with Professor Michio Kaku. Give us a call at 612-564-8135. Science Fantastic. Welcome back to Science Fantastic with Professor Michio Kaku. On Science Fantastic, we explore the cutting edge of science, and this hour it's open mic. Open mic on Science Fantastic. Here's a chance. Here's your chance to ask that question that's always been bothering you about this great universe of ours. Well, we had a question concerning the color green. Why do plants have green color? Uh, why don't we see green stars everywhere in the cosmos? So let's say a few things about that. First of all, life on Earth has plants which are green because of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a rather nice chemical, an exotic chemical, that takes sunlight, sunlight, and combines it with carbon dioxide to create sugars, like glucose. And so it's Mother Nature's way, Mother Nature's way of converting sunlight into food. And we, as humans, eat plants, so in some sense we're parasites on the plant kingdom, and we consume that food and emit carbon dioxide. So chlorophyll is the chemical that makes that possible. It is green in color, and that's why plants are green. And then the question is, why do stars have a certain set of colors? Well, the color of a star depends upon its temperature. Say, take a look at a match. Take a match and light it up, and look at the very bottom of the flame. What is the color? The color at the very bottom of the flame. Why? It's blue. It is blue at the bottom, and what is the color at the top of the flame? It is red and orange. In fact, if you take a look at your oven, turn on your oven, you'll find that the hottest part of the oven flame, the uh, flame on your stove, is at the bottom, which is blue, and at the top, it is red. Now, why is that? Because color corresponds to temperature. Red is the coolest of the colors. Red hot is, of course, a few thousand degrees, but it is cool compared to blue, which is blue hot. These are the colors of the rainbow. So when you look at a flame, the fact that it is blue at the bottom, red at the top, 
is an example of the colors of the rainbow. And what are the colors of the rainbow? Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv corresponds to energy. Energy corresponds to temperature. Therefore, red hot is a few thousand degrees, but is not as hot as blue hot. Blue hot is much hotter than red hot. So, you can have blue stars, which are the hottest stars you see in the heavens, but also green stars. Yes, there are green stars, but you don't see too many of them. Because in the rainbow, uh, green does not occupy a very large part of the, uh, the colors of the rainbow. So in other words, why do we have red stars and blue stars? Red stars are the coolest. Blue stars are the hottest because of the colors of the rainbow in turn correspond to temperature. That's why we say things are red hot, but white hot is even hotter than red hot. Because when all the colors merge together, like blue and so on and so forth, you get white. So that's the origin of the reason why we have color in outer space and also color in your backyard. Okay, let's move on to the next listener phone call. Hi, this is Joe. Um, 